especially from Algebra 2, this is probably one of the first basic things that you guys even went over. Um, when we're looking at uh, arithmetic sequence, all right? So, so far we've just been talking about sequences of numbers. Um, now what we're going to be talking about is identifying them as arithmetic or geometric. And for right now we're just going to focus on uh, the arithmetic sequence. The arith arithmetic sequence is a sequence that is defined by what we call a common difference, all right? Um, so if we, look at, if we look at this sequence, we could call them like a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5, right? Now, to find what is nice about arithmetic sequence is that the difference between each and every value in that sequence is exactly the same. And to find that difference, it doesn't matter which values you take, but you're going to want to have consecutive consecutive values, obviously, to find the difference. All right? So let's go ahead and determine, is this an arith arithmetic sequence? Well, we can take difference equals uh, 3 minus 5, which equals a negative 2. Now, is negative 2 the difference between each one of these? Yeah, to go from here to here, negative 2. 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 All right? So the one important thing when you guys are looking to determine if it's an arithmetic sequence, it has to have a common difference between each consecutive term. All right? So D represents the common difference. And to find the common difference, you just subtract two consecutive terms, the A2 minus the A1. You could do A, A4 minus A3 to find exactly that difference and make sure all your consecutive terms have that. OK, Kyle? That's really just about as basic as it can be. I am assuming 